Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome to all my dear friends, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of my uh, dear students and friends who are taking this DADM 2 course which is data analysis and decision making uh, part 2. And if you have gone through the introduction, which basically covers uh, the topics of non-parametric decision making. And I would not go into the introduction once more, but uh, just mention the few important points. Um, those concepts which will, which will cover would be utility theory, uh, then uh, this concept of uh, multi criteria decision making, multi attribute decision making, utility theory, then DEA which is data envelope analysis, AHP, ANP, and then we will cover the concepts of uh, Topsys, Electra, Macbeth, all these methods, then we go into the concepts of uh, different type of meta heuristic techniques simply without going to the mathematical details, their algorithms and how we solve the problems and try to give examples for each of them. And uh, switching back even though it would not be irrelevant, but still I would like to mention is that in the first part of DADM 1, we have covered the bulk of statistics and in the third part of DADM 3 which will be the third um, for in this series, we will cover the different concept of optimization operation research and uh, such related topics. So, once again a very warm welcome to all my dear friends and as you know this course uh, total duration is uh, 30 hours, 30 hours means 12 weeks which would basically be converted into 60 lectures. Each week we will basically have 5 lectures and after each 5 lectures we will have an assignment. So, in totality we will have 12 assignments and obviously there would be one final examination and the final examination will consist of all the coverages which we will go through lecture 1 to lecture the last one which will be the 12th one and assignments as you know it will basically cover uh, the, the weeks lecture only and the marks and all these things would be collated and given accordingly. So, my name is uh, um, uh, obviously many of you may be doing this course or taking my course the second time, but still I will try to introduce myself. I am Raghunandan Sengupta from the IME department at IIT Kanpur. So, again a very warm welcome to all of you. And let us start the, the discussions about DADM2. So, before we start DADM2 generally or the concepts of the non-parametric methods, I will try to discuss the utility theory, try to uh, wrap up the concepts of, of utility theory and how they are utilized, the concept of different type of decision making which you may make, the, uh, the concept of, of stochastic dominance concept, the first uh, order, second order all these things would be utilized in a very simple manner, we will try to cover them as we proceed. So, this is lecture 1 and with without much ado, let me start 1. So, in utility theory, what we mean by utility theory? Utility theory is a some concept where we try to gain some value by taking a decision. So, the decision can be buying a car, can be decision may be say for example, I want to optimize on the cost, it can be decision on trying to optimize the different trying to build up a dam and we have different resource constraints. It can be man, material, manpower, time. So, you want to basically optimize on, on, on all the fronts. So, if it is a single optimization problem, we find it is easy to solve because you do not consider any other um, ideas to be optimized. Whether maximum or minimum, that is a different question. Optimize means we are trying to get the best value. But when it comes to the multi objective one, then it becomes a problem because trying to optimize one obviously does not give you the same picture as when you get try to get the, um, the concept of trying to optimize um, more than one or, or uh, 
2 or 3, because trying to optimize the objective function 1 basically may increase or decrease depending on what your idea is the second objective, while a second of try, trying to basically optimize the second one you will basically try to increase or decrease the first objective. So, you have to basically make a compromise accordingly. So, this uh, ideas of utilities in a very simple sense would be utilized in this concept. So, consider that we, we are in the proje uh, project management phase and the same type of construction of project is being considered undertaken by some investors, some engineers, some construction company and uh, we will consider them as investors because they are putting their money there. Now, different type of investors, different type of people, the different companies are investing their energy, skill, money, manpower, time, everything and have different attributes or different type of qualities based on which they will try to analyze the project. So, if I am analyzing a project, say for example, of buying a car, my buying the car may be different from second person who is buying the car because my main concern may be the cost. The second person main concern may be say for example, the space the car, uh, car has because he or she may have different uh, a big family, friends to, um, to help them in the transportation work or they, they want to have a pool car where they want to go to office or it may be a person who wants to have uh, um, his budget constraints are not there, his space constraints are not there, but he wants to buy an expensive car, show to his friends or he, her friends that yes, I have a car. So, obviously, there are different attributes based on which a decision can be made. Another decision can be say for example, I want to buy a house. So, when I am buying a house, my main decision of buying the house may be obviously is the cost, but other things can be how near is it to the bus stop, how near is it to the metro stop or how, how safe is this locality where I will be staying or it can be say for example, how uh, close is the, the market shop or how close is basically the hospital or maybe how close is the school. So, there would be different attributes, different ideas based on which I will take the decision. So, this in this example which you are considering or the discussion which you are having, they have would have different attributes and a different type of risk perception. So, the word risk I am using for the first time, but the risk would basically mean in a very simple sense the overall loss the person is would be facing. It can be risk if you know from very simple statistical sense can be uh, sigma or sigma square which is basically standard deviation or variance in the concept of um, finance it can be beta and they can be different type of, of different type of risk concept also. So, that is to say each of the investors or the companies has with him or her a speci specific opportunity set. So, whatever the decision sets which you have for yourself would be different from me. So, we are basically calling an opportunity set based on which we will take the decision such that it meets our criteria of taking the best set of, of, of values for the opportunity set which basically optimizes our main objective function which we are aiming at. So, this opportunity set is set is specific to that person only. So, as I said it will change from person to person. So, if my opportunity set is basically the car A, B, C, the other opportunity set for that person may be say for example, car A, B and D, C is not there for him or her. So, obviously, the opportunity sets are different and the criteria is based on which we are going to take the decision. We means me when I am buying the car and the other person when he or she is buying the car would be different based on which they will take the decision to maximize or minimize their overall utility, utility or the value which, which you want to have by buying that particular product. Consider a shop floor manager has two machines. So, let, let us discuss in a very, very simple sense. Consider a shop has the machines A and B. So, both uh, are doing some same type of operations. It can be a lathe machine, it can be a CNC machine, it can be a turret, it can be a grinding machine, it can be any welding machine, whatever it is. And the outcomes for, um, for these two different machines are given. So, outcomes means the amount of productivity or the amount of work the machines are able to do in the normal circumstances. So, so consider machine A has an output. So, the values which you, which you see so called in column where I will I, I will just highlight it with the pointer on the first column 
and the third column. These values I will come to the specific the reason how the values are calculated for the time being consider these values are given. Obviously, they would change from person to person, from machine to machine, from decision to decision, but why they change I am not going to consider it immediately. So, consider the values are given and this uh, the, the, the third, the second column and the, and the fourth column which is p i's are the corresponding probabilities. So, probabilities also would be dependent on the person, but for the time being we will consider them to be given again as I, as I said for as for the values. So, machine A has an outcome of 15, 15 can be a unit, can be in rupees, can be in yen, can be in dollars, can be in, in um, uh, whatever Canadian dollars, can be UK pounds, can be see for example, in liters, can be in grams, can be in kgs, whatever it is. So, the, um, the outcome values are given in, in as 15 with probability one third, the next term of outcome is 10 with the probability of one third and the last outcome is 15 again with the probability of one third. So, now the question would be you would be asking that why there are two 15s, we could have merged them and basically said the probability is two third. The reason is that depending on the decisions, whatever you take the values are coming. So, I may take decision 1, there are also the values 15. I may also take a decision too, there also the value is 15. So, the different type of routes which I take or different type of decisions I take are different, but the end results are, are coming out to be 15. That is why I basically put them as two different rows for machine A. Similarly, if you go to machine B, there are uh, values of 20, 12 and 8 with the corresponding probabilities again as one third, one third, one third, that means all the probabilities are different. So, here the 20, 12 and 8 are different. So, obviously, there would not be any confusion if in, in the case if you had any confusion for two different 15s for A and then they being written differently with same probabilities of one third, one third. Now, in reality what would the person do if he or she has these two outcome sets that the machines which are producing and, and I want to find out. So, consider these 15s are values in some units and they are net worth or the values which which accrues to that decision maker. Now, if the person has to take a decision for, um, for machine A and machine B, for A we would basically have the expected value of the outcomes which will be given by 15 into one third plus 10 into one third plus 15 into one third, the value comes out to be 13 and, and 3, 3, 13 and one third. And for machine B, it will be 20 into one third plus 12 into one third plus 8 into one third, again the value comes out to be 13.33. So, obviously, many would be thinking that um, we are take, we that is very simple, we are basically taking the expected value and trying to basically find out which value gives us the maximum value. Yeah, yeah that is true, that is what we are trying to follow, but obviously, we will see that there would be different connotations of trying to find out the expected value, different connotations of trying to find out a different rule based on the fact that the expected values are also same. So, obviously, intuition would, would uh, lead us to take a, uh, take a, um, a, a, a different decisions based on the fact that the expected values are, are the same. We will we'll consider that very soon. Now, consider the scenario is a little bit changed in the sense the values for machine A and machine B remain the same, which is for machine A it remains as 15, 10, 15 and for B it remains 20, 12, 8, but the corresponding probability for machine A has now changed. It is no more one third, one third, one third for all these three um, uh, decisions or the values, but now the probabilities are 50 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent, which is half, one fourth, one fourth respectively, while for machine B the probabilities remain as it is as one third, one third, one third. Now, if we again recalculate the values comes out to be like this. Now, for A we have the expected value of the outcomes as 13.75, again we calculate 15 into half plus 10 into one fourth plus 15 into one fourth that value comes out to be 13.75, while for B the values have not changed. So, obviously, it will come, continue to be remain, remain as 13.33. Now, in this case if the question is again asked to you which decision would you take when you are considering machine A and machine B, that means you can only buy one machine and you have to take a decision accordingly. Obviously, your answer would be in the first case you are indecisive because both of them gave the 13.33 values. Obviously, no other criteria were being considered to take the decision, while for the sec second example or the 
variant of the first example which is the one which is being shown on the slide, you will definitely say that I will take the decision where I basically prefer machine A because the value which is coming out considering there are no other criteria based on which I can take the decision is 13.75. Hence, I will basically um, uh, take A over B for which B is 13.33. Now, consider a different example. So, these are all just different type of hypothetical examples which I am considering in order to make you understand. So, consider there is a match being played and out of um, the, all the teams I consider say for example, x and y and want to basically give you a notion that how the ranking system can change. So, obviously, that would have some implication that how utility can be utilized in the, in the sense the concept of utility can be utilized. So, consider team x and team y and in they play the same type of tour tournament, but in case 1 and case 2 which ba basically the overall points based on which the ranking is decided is different. Say for example, the organizers of the game before they start the tournament, they say that for each uh, win there would be 2 points, for each draw there would be 1 point and in which loss there would be 0 point. So, the game continues. And in this case, um, the, all the teams play amongst themselves. There is a final, semi final, uh, quarter final, semi final, final, and now the ranking is to be done. Ranking is to be done, and we find out the number of wins, uh, draws, and losses for uh, the teams X and Y respectively. And these values are team X wins 40, draws 20, lo loses um, uh, 10, while team Y wins 45 draws 5 and loses 20. So, in this case if you basically want to find out the ranking based on which you will basically put a x above y or vice versa, then what you will do? You simply multiply for team x it will be this one which I will just show in a very simple way. So, you will for case 1 you will basically multiply for x it will be 40 into 2 plus 20 into 1 plus 10 into 0. So, that will be for x and for y it will be 45 into 2. So, in the first set I multiply these values. So, they are multiplying. So, let me change the color. So, it will be much easier for so in the second set and uh, let me put it green in the second set the multiplication would be this. So, that would be y 45 into 2 plus 5 into 1 plus 20 into 0. So, based on that you will basically do the ranking. Now, suddenly uh, as the game ends suddenly due to some error on the organized part they suddenly announce no, no that was not the case. The wins, draws and losses would not be given as 2, 1, 0 as already been decided. Now, the rank the point system has changed. So, now and because say for example, hypothetically consider the sponsors who are sponsoring this football match or this hockey match whatever it is. They say no the ranking system would be based on a new scoring scale which is for a win a team will get 5, for a draw they will get 1 and for a loss again it remains as 0. So, obviously, everybody is very, very perturbed. So, they have to again recalculate the rankings for all the teams and obviously, do it similarly for x and y. So, now what, what we will do? So, the I will come to the actual calculations later on. So, so, in this case now team x would basically do the ranking. So, I am using a different color and so that would basically be yes. for x it would be 40 into 5 plus 20 into 1 plus 10 into 0. 
Similarly, when you come to team 1, the calculations would be again I am trying to use a different color, y would be 45 into 5 plus 5 into 1 plus 20 into 0. So, when you do this calculations, you will basically have these values. So, let us do the ranking based on when the organizers were um, had a first case um, example of the ranking. So, team A would basically get a point of 100, team B would get a point of 95, which means that A would be declared. Considering all the other teams rankings are uh, scores are less, they will get a ranking of um, say for example, um, A being judged the winner and B is say for example, the runners up. So, A would be ranked higher than B. Now, as I said that there is a confusion, the sponsor says that they would not give the money if the rankings um, is not um, uh, re-evaluated based on the points which I mentioned as you saw in the last slide was case 2. So, based on that again the ranking is ca calculated, recalculated. Now, whether A and B would be, but, uh, would be the first and second, I am not going to comment on that because that would change because other teams would definitely get a different set of ranking and some may basically, it is possible <coughs> some of the teams may be ranked higher than A or B. But I am only comparing, um, uh, sorry not A and B, X, X and Y. So, I am not comparing um, the, the overall first and set, second, I am only comparing the relative ranking of X and Y. So, A, A and B. Uh, so, teams A would basically have a, a point of 220 and team B would have a point of 230, which would mean because the calculation what I have shown in the last slide, which would mean that B would be ranked higher than A. So, B is ranked um, and the ranking system has changed. Now, no more A is higher than a, B, but B would be placed on a higher level then A. Now, whenever we are doing this utility calculations, if you remember I and, 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 and I did mention and many of you must have got the hint is that we need to basically find out the expected value and based on that we proceed. So, on a general nomenclature we would basically have the expected value of utility given by the multiplication of the utility function multiplied by its probability and then we will sum it up. Now, when I am saying basically the um, utility function and the um, uh, corresponding probability, they would mean the utility function based on the value which it occurs accrues to you. You are the basically the decision maker. So, obviously, what decision I take would be different from you, your decision because the utility function would change even if the values are, are the same. So, uh, so if you if you if you see the formula, so if you see the formula. the expected value of utility expected value is given by the multiplication of sum you will sum it up later on but the multiplication of utility which is this one which is this one multiplied by the corresponding probability of that particular utility which is this one. And if you remember the probabilities were given. So, obviously, in this exam in, in this formula it is now clear that you will basically have a probability mass function or probability density function based on which you will try to follow the find out the, the, the corresponding probability of p i. And the u w which is the utility would basically be based on the overall net value which you, you, you try to very consider try simply consider it is a type try value you are trying to invest. Now, the values which were given for the teams A and B or for machines A and B, those values were assumed to be the ultimate values based on the utility which has the calculation has been done. So, obviously, there is an underlying utility function in which you will try to basically put your net worth based on which you are taking the decision 
and once you basically get the decision the values which it accrues to you is basically the utility based on which I will be doing all the calculations. Here u w is the utility function which is a function of the wealth when we consider the wealth as w. Now, this wealth uh, would be I am using a very generic uh, symbol or a variable w. It can be amount of money, it can be amount of material, it can be amount of, of different type of um, manpower which you are ut utilizing. Time can also be a factor, but we will consider in the very simple sense this is the wealth w. While n w is basically n a function is basically the number of outcomes which basically accrues to that only decision. So, say for example, if I am taking um, a decision where the outputs are 15 if you see and the corresponding probabilities are given. So, the numerator in that probability is basically the n w which I am talking about and obviously, the denominator is the summation of all the n w's or the all the different type of events which are occurring um, based on which I am take I am trying to take a decision with for the utility. Now, once you multiply each and every term you sum them up and the and the value which you get is basically the expected, uh, expected utility and as you remember I did mention and if you have seen in the slides you basically try to maximize the expected utility. Now, um, remember in general utility fun functions cannot be negative, but we will consider negative values also. So, our neutral function negative means they are not worth taking the decision. So, obviously, you will try to shun away from the decisions, but we will consider later on that they would be decisions where if two different negative values are there, you will try to take the, the value which basically is least negative. Least negative means it is more towards the positive value. But in many of the cases depending on the decisions it, it is possible that you have to take a decision where the utility is basically negative. There would be other circumstances based on which are uh, which, which would force you to take a decisions accordingly. But many of the functions in the utilities may have negative values. In general depending on the problem we will ignore the negative values and consider them to be 0 or we would not ignore the values and continue take their, their values with the negative sign and proceed with the calculation. Now, if you have, if you remember the last slide what I showed it basically a summation of the utility which utility as I mentioned is a function and utility being multiplied utility function being multiplied by the ratio which is n w by summation of n, m, n w. So, what is what that? This is basically a chance or, or a probability or a relative frequency. So, obviously, the question would come from your side. So, if there is a chance there is a probability, does it have a probability distribution? My answer would be yes, we will try to utilize this probability distribution in order to calculate the expected value of the utility. So, what you want to find out is basically the expected value of the utility where you consider the utility as, as a random variable and basically multiply that with its probability mass function or probability density function and for try to find out the, the overall expected value of the utility. So, for analysis to make the problem simple we will consider the value to be 0 even though the in actuality the value may not be 0. So, uh, with this I will conclude um, this first lecture for DADM 1, DADM 2 sorry and continue the discussion of, of utility 3 with more examples later on. Thank you and have a nice day.